Hello, everybody. Welcome back to more Undermine, Undermine, Undermine time. That means we are not playing Other Mine today. We're playing just good old fashioned Undermine. But we have, uh, first of all, I think we need to. Hold on. Do we do it? Do we have to do this? Yes, we do. Sorry, mister. Gee whiz. Okay, we got the Pilfer's Gift. <laughs> <laughs> item as a blueprint there. We're not going to mess with it today. I'm going to hold on to all of my crystals for now because I would like to get a pet. I would like to get a pet. In to the mine as Pie Good. Thank you very much for the support on Patreon. Pie Good, getting your name on the peasant. Ooh. Interesting. Interesting. What a start. We could, uh, basically right now we have a, an interesting scenario where we can stack up one of a lot of blessings and then drink this holy glaze for free right away. Like, we just we just started with it. Such a good potion because we had it unlocked last time. Uh, so, all in all, that could be that could be a really fun start. We could really just get basically every blessing that we get one of, we effectively are going to get two of when we decide to cash out. Uh, so we kind of... Not now, but when we want it, we kind of already have two ranks of the Swing Size Blessing and two ranks of the Swing Damage Blessing. As long as we don't uh, don't bungle it up at this point, which is pretty darn neat, if you ask me. But we're going with the Sylph here. Oh man, oh man. What are we on? Summoning Stone 6. Huh. Huh. I totally, like, lost track of where we were. We did a couple days of Other Mine in a row, truly just due to... Uh, time constraints wanting to make sure like you know the uh, the risk of rain series popped off way more than anticipated i've never had a co-op series go so crazy well so you know just trying to figure out how to make time for for that and stuff and uh, starting the rogue legacy series there's just been been a hell of a lot of scrambling so that's truly like the the addition of all the like going up to four videos a day is truly ooh. Going up to basically four videos a day has truly been the uh, the reason why there's been a lot of other mine, and hopefully that's okay because it's it really comes down to uh, other mine or no undermine at all, and I think that a lot of people seem to be uh, very cool with with it. It seems like people who uh, maybe in the past have been like I don't like other mine, I only like undermine uh, have kind of tapered off with that opinion a little bit. And oop, I made a mistake. I meant to press C. Great. Uh, tape it off with that opinion a little bit, because truthfully, if you like one, you kind of, kind of should just like them both in a sense, right? They're, they're different from each other in the sense that one, you can be completely carried by a slider you pick at the beginning of your run. You could literally just be, you could have a free run. And uh, the other, you know, it's, it's always always the same difficulty, which I, I like that, or at least I think it's always the same difficulty. It's always roughly, like, intended that you are supposed to be strong enough to beat the run. And I like that concept, okay? Poison explosion when we kill enemies after throwing. Uh, I like that concept, because then you have, like, a, you have a baseline. You know if you are strong enough or not, for the most part, you know? You know if you need to be building a, a certain, uh, get get more of a certain stat to really stand a chance, you need, you know, you know if you are weak, and you know if you are strong. For this, we could literally set the summoning stone down to, uh, to one, and we would be strong, it, just because we decided, decided to be, you know? And that's, that's really where my, uh, my one disconnect is with it, and that's where I, uh, truly do love roguelikes more. I mean, I, I use the roguelike term because, you know, it's it's kind of been uh, watered down to literally just mean roguelike means it doesn't have meta progression and roguelite means it does. That's effectively how they've, uh, how they've been watered down in, in, in 2020, and that's really, I think it's fine. Instead of, like, just sitting with the debate uh, of everything. Needs to be turn-based, grid-based. Needs to have, uh, yeah, grid-based combat, turn-based, um, like, there's just all kinds of very, very, very specific things to be a rogue-like that I think the, uh, truly, the amount of discourse and the length of time that the discourse has gone on 
I think makes it pretty clear that it's an overly convoluted uh, set of requirements. So I think that really just boiling it down to these, you know, just meta progression or no meta progression, I think that that's a relatively sensible enough way and a very a useful uh, determiner signifier of two different types of a uh, types of the same sort of genre that being said i think that you know as as complicated as it as it always makes it like i think that a uh, ooh, 108 bees healing when we use the shrine uh, a th third kind of branched path of just saying like a whenever you see anyone say a traditional roguelike or a true true roguelike, I feel like that means they're usually talking about something that's truly like Rogue, the game Rogue. Oop. The game in which everything on the channel is like, you know. I should really go, I should do a video. I have, I have indeed played the original Rogue, which is, you know, it's a, a dungeon crawling, permadeath, uh, systems driven, grid based, turn based, roguelike. Ooh, yeah. All right. We should have a decent amount of potion length up, I think, just by uh, meta progression st stuff. You know, ever since we unlocked the uh, the mushroom man. Have you unlocked the mushroom man? We got his stuff. In a can. Because, uh, yeah, potion length is something you can get from that. Really no reason to... Uh, we're rich as hell. There's no con no constraints by money, really, here. Uh, all right. Uh, another upgrade. What's another upgrade we can get? Let's go for HP, then. Let's just uh, spread it out even. No point in getting another rank in something... I mean, okay, there is a point. It's... The fact that we would get it now. Uh, but it, it's kind of a redundant thing. I don't know when I'm going to cash out. Like, it could be kind of interesting to, obviously, like, go for a jack-of-all-trades kind of a situation. I think I may wait and see if we get... Um, if we ever get a shrine that doesn't have any of the ones that we have. Uh, or, or, sorry. If we get a shrine that only has the ones we have or ones that I would consider to be relatively useless. In that scenario, I'm probably going to even out the potion and then, dr uh, or even it out with the potion and then pick up a new duplicate because then we're sitting pretty for finding uh, another Holy Glaze. That's kind of like a lot of what base game un Undermine is about, in my opinion, nowadays, is uh, when you unlock this potion. You want to keep that in mind. It's, it's very much... It's, it, it's big enough, important enough to keep that in mind at all times. Like, it's because it's not, uh, as far as I'm aware, it's not that rare of a potion. It's not super common, but it's not that rare either. Yeah, I know what I'm saying. Like, we can, we can expect to find a couple more, so therefore it's, it's worth thinking about. Like, I, the, but there is definitely a certain point where you should probably stop passing on certain blessings. Right now, there's no reason to pass on a blessing unless we literally think having it will make our run worse. Like, explosion size... Yeah! Like, explosion size without going for... Uh, without having bomb immunity or something. Like, that's that's kind of... Argu arguably a problem. You know, especially if we're going to be... Because whatever we have, you don't want to pick it up unless you're willing to have quite a bit of it, is basically how it is. Like, if I could get the healing regeneration uh, value up, that's a very good thing. If I can get the gold gain up, that's a good thing. Hell, I would take throw damage even. I would take throw damage, because there's no reason not to have it, especially because, like, even if you're on a, uh, a swing run, Masa exists, and you can convert your throw damage into swing damage. So there's, like, there's even always that. I, for one, am just super happy that we have Swing Size Blessing up, finally. It is just such a nice, fun one. Okay. Point of Armor, don't mind if I do. Point of Armor, don't mind if I do. Whoop. All right.
Boink, boink, good noink. Yeah, it's just, it's a quality of life one, but it does have some practical use in the sense that, like, you... You can hit from further away, which can be nice and safe. You can also, um... You can also hit more tiny enemies at the same time, which is also pretty nice. There's a handful of reasons why it is not just a quality of life blessing. But as far as quality of life things go in this game, it's it's super up there for me. It's, it's one of my favorite, favorite non-big uh, number damage up kind of things to go for. Do we still not have crit blessings? I know we don't have throw speed, which is a... Um, Definitely a blessing I'd like to have available. We don't have bomb damage, which is probably something I want to rectify. Though, like I said, weirdly enough, bomb damage blessings seem like they don't really matter for bomb runs right now. Like, that's a, it's such a crazy thought. They Like, they help, but unless they increase your bomb damage by a percentage, I feel like it doesn't. it's not going to end up mattering, really. Like... The amount that you scale with either U2, U2, whatever, this is called the U2 item, the bomb item that we don't have unlocked or through a capture sphere, that's really how you get bomb damage. So truly, you just want the quality of life of having a bomb size up over having bomb damage, I think, right? It's kind of a, it's a weird thing. Bomb size ups in the past, I, uh, I went on record saying that they're one of the least useful Tied only, uh, or beat only by, um, whatchamacallit, gold loss on death. Gold loss on death is pretty, uh, pretty useless for undermine once you've reached a certain point. Pretty darn useless. Reloader's draft, no reason to use that. Uh, so this gives us one item for free, either from a shop or more what I would rather use it for, something like, uh... You can get a free item from Omegalol. You can open up a three key, whoop, uh, three key chest or a three key room or something, which is not really a thing in this mode. I don't think. I think the four key, the four key rooms are pretty much just a um, other mind thing. We're doing so much damage with our throws too. What's up with that? Man, it chunky, it's strong. Extra food from chest. Don't mind if I do. Up and over. Do we have another shrine? We may want to cash out. Uh, food duper. It's not a dumb call. Lava walker's not a dumb call. That's definitely not a dumb call. I'm just gonna go reroll like crazy though. All right. Here we go. Reroll. We should. We do have it on. All right. It's a heal. Okay, good call. That worked out really well. So this is crit damage. Crit chance, crit chance, crit chance. Crit chance, crit chance, crit chance. Okay. Boom, boom. I, I think that worked out okay in the end there. It's, I really wish I, I was in the corner. Uh, but these are some decent potions now. Decent potions. This lasts forever. Forever young. I want to be forever young. I want to be a baby, please. Forever. Okay. Ah, heck. We did get one of my least favorite uh, penalties. It's it's just it's, it's a strength ruiner and it's a quality of life ruiner. It's a it's a double whammy. It's one of my least favorites. Really, by a by a decent margin. At least on a swing run. It's on a swing run it really sucks. On a throw run it it still even sucks. That's the thing. Uh, so now I kind of just want either a gold blessing. I'm trying to think of what we even have. Without like gold powder, I I just don't see any benefit in a uh, bombs. Whoa, my god, that made me want to barf. Without gold powder, I don't really see a benefit in a um, size up. Is where I'm at. Whoop. For the bomb. Okay. But it's, there's a very real chance we don't even see one of those. 
But the fun thing is, like, I think that there are rarities in Blessings, and I think that the, uh, swing, or the, yeah, swing size is a rare one. So it's, it can be harder to get a lot of them. So using things like, uh, Holy Glaze is pretty, uh, pretty valuable to get more of them. Because getting a bunch of them, you can, you can do, basically, a swing that does, you know, kind of hit the literally entire room. It's kind of nice. It's kind of nice to be able to do that. Here's the moment of truth. We may be cashing out. Let's, let's do it. Okay. Cash out. Boom. Two blessings of literally everything. We just doubled, doubled our blessings in basically all areas there. So that's quite nice for uh, an around the... Fine. Gordon's Tunic. Elemental damage. Doesn't reduce the amount of damage we take from our own bombs and bombs in general too. All in all, it's a good item. It's just not an exciting item usually. It's good, but not exciting. Alright. Yep. Yep. This is a this is looking like a clean all around kind of a run. Oh boy. Remove. <laughs> Don't really want galoshes. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll put them on the uh, on the shrine here. We'll finally put something on it. Finally! Because, hey, maybe we'll have lava walkers. One, it does two things. One, it removes it from our pool, which is a, already a plus, because I genuinely hate it. Two, it makes it so if we... Makes it so if we already have... Um, Whatchamacallit. Yeah, if we already have lava walkers, we get the Helios boot synergy, which I'm not sure if we've had yet in this series. It's like, it kind of just combines the oil and the fire into the same thing, which it already sort of does. It gives you a pretty big movement speed up, I think. It's really, it's not a big deal. It's not like a wowza. Wowza! But it's, it's nice. It's pretty good. You might as well, you know? If you have flame walkers, fire walkers, and you see galoshes they are no longer worth re-rolling is basically all it is it's not a wowza though we are pretty darn strong we definitely hit a little bit of a power spike when we uh we cashed in on our re-roll there or cashed in on our even their potion sure sure i will take that that is a uh, substantial size up Substantial. We hitting. Oh my god. We hitting large. Hitting large or hardly hitting. See, look at that. Yes, it's a damage down and everything, but yeah, whatever. Okay, what do we got? Toughness. I forgot about. Oh, I forgot I had fortitude as an option. You know what? That's fine. I want to make sure we have a plus one somewhere in case we get the, uh, the blessing there. I, I probably should have taken it. Because the odds of us finding a Holy Glaze very, very, like, wow. Very, very soon, I guess, is, you know, not the most likely. I love that size up, though. It's huge. We definitely, we obviously took a penalty, but, like, you know. Tis what tis. We got kind of like a hybrid-y sort of a run. We can do our swing throw combo from like 10 miles away though, which is kind of nice. Uh, we're able to do it. All right, remove the curse, good call. Aegis we might as well. And other than that, we'll get a little bit of value across the board here. Okay. All right, so if we go to the, uh... sorry, there's just somebody outside my window. What? Uh, if we go over here, we'll find something. I don't know, man. What do I say? I don't know what to talk about when people can obviously hear me. What the heck do I even do, man? 
Uh, blessed potion, we get a little bit of attack speed. There's no reason not to. There's no reason not to. It'll help us out right now. It's not going to be... It, it, does, it doesn't mess up our thing later. In fact, it kind of helps us out where if we get another fortitude blessing to show up, uh, then we can, we can maybe take it and think that we can even out across the board and increase that one too, you know, if that makes sense. It's, it's kind of just a math game. It's a roundup scenario. As long as you, uh, oh boy. It's a rounding up scenario. As long as it's, like, if we take the three from here, what, would we get it right now? Because we would get one more to be two, two, two. You take the one, you put it there, puts it at two. We actually, if we, no, yeah, if we get, if we get it right now, we could, we'd be good, actually. Hmm. It's worth thinking about. It's worth thinking about. Anything now? No, but there's a lot we can re-roll. When there's that many, see, that's what I'm talking about. We, you can kind of just count on it. So, I really, really wish we took that fortitude. But, you know, it's a hindsight. Hindsight's 2020. Tis with tis. Maybe we'll get another option here. I'm definitely considering it. If it's here. Okay. Um. Alright. Cross the board, give me the three. There is the there's one more thing that is a very important potion. And I totally forgot about it. And it's called, I think, is it Nectar or Ambrosia? It doubles the amount of a, a random blessing. And it is completely crazy. And obviously, you, you could probably see how that could get out of control in combination with this. Like, you know, say we whoop, had three, three blessings at ten or something, and then we, uh, we random them all up. One of them's at 20 all of a sudden. That's, like, that's a huge gain across the board. Huge gain across the board. That person is still outside of the window. No, they are not. Man, I just never know. <laughs> People painting the house. Oh, God! Uh, you know what? This is actually a really, I mean, not that we have anything that, um, we could use to re-roll it. But when we have swings this large, it's super handy. Because, you know, it's just easier to hit the projectile. That's, I mean, that's all there is to it. Um, I think we just... I don't think we really need to use either of these potions. I think we're going to be okay just as is. I kind of want to save those for a situation I'm actually maybe going to be concerned in. And this definitely is not one of the well you know what he's got way more health i forgot he's a pushover in this mode too but he's more of a pushover in other mine i forgot he is definitely like his scaling in other mine is he's a he's like a big old joke the way that the uh the hp upgrades hit the crystal ball uh adds he has because of the ascension it's it's kind of rough kind of rough i don't know i don't know why but any uh, all the bosses that have ads are way worse on high ascension not that this is high ascension this is only ascension six <laughs> summoning stone six this is not high ascension not at all all right but we'll pop on up okay we need to reclaim my uh my level 30 achievement I have like I, I got it I need to get it again though you know what I'm saying it's got like a 0.3 percent uh rate of completion it's crazy Boop. Boop. get it got it good do I want that no let's uh, see if we can get ooh reroll a specific route we, we must have something that's not that big of a deal um
Okay, that's it's a lot of gold over the course of the run. It's hard to pass it up because of that. And I know that's stupid, but like I'm gonna do it. All right. Now we're looking for a prime candidate for popcorn kernels, which I, it's very easy for me to uh, to miss. God, we could. Yeah, we could do this swing throw combo from far away, but really the thing that makes it good is doing it close up, so there's really no point, especially since our swing is pretty noticeably uh, ahead of the curve of our throw right now. I just can't, I just don't know what they're doing. They need to fix that bug that they just have all these invisible runes. It's, the bug's getting a little out of hand. Uh, this is a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it. That's basically my channel in a nutshell. This is a bad idea, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Yeah, see, I'm getting kind of like tricked into thinking I should be doing the swing throw, but it's, uh, I think it's suboptimal. It's suboptimal unless I'm in their face. I see you down there, gargoyle. I see you down there, my gargoyle. Okay. I just realized we we don't have holy glaze. I was gonna, okay, 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 okay. All right. So if we get, um, hmm, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. It's irrelevant. It's irrelevant. Gotta always keep uh, keep the glaze in mind. Hashtag keep the glaze in mind. Um, yeah. There's basically no reason not to take that, but let me just do this first. Yeah. Da. Ah, heck. But obviously you could probably see how this could be really really fun. You do not get double of all of the blessings. Uh just like that. Here. So we're probably at 0, so now's a good time to actually Ew. It's uh, fine. We're at 0 probably chance to find ouch. A uh, omega lol so it's it's really the perfect time to do something like that. We have probably a 10% chance to find him now. Is my educated guess. Educated. Boink, boink. Oh my god. It's huge! So glad we got the swing. See, look at here's the, the other thing we can do. Who needs float boots when you can actually just hit the whole room? Yes, I know, by the way, that there's fun cheese. I got a comment that said... I thought that he was gonna finally take float boots and grow as a player. I just gotta. I, I just had to. I just had to say that one out loud. It just every once in a while I get a comment that just hits me. It just tickles me. I thought he was gonna pick up float boots and finally grow as a player. <laughs> I I had a good giggle. Uh, I, yes, I know there's obviously fun things you can do with it. Let me. If you're not in on in on it, let me let you know something. It's, I'm having a laugh. I'm having a giggle. Every Everything with float boots, I'm just having a giggle. I've used it before appropriately. But honestly, I, I, I would rather save myself from the comments backseating literally every single room about how I improperly used my, my float boots. I'd rather just not give the ammo. You know what I'm saying? I'd rather just not give any ammo in that capacity than even have it, because it truly does not provide that much to their run. Yes, you'll get a couple more consumables here and there. Ouch. But it's really not that big of a deal. It really, really, I swear, I swear, take it from the man with the, uh, you know, the point three achievement. It's not that big of a deal. It, it, it's not a make or break. It really isn't. It's good. It's good, it's helpful. It's not a make or break. Huh. All right, what do we got here? Show me what you got. Catalyst, I'll take it. An extra one point of healing every time we take any healing. Doink, doink. A boink. I would really love to get a, um, oh. That's right. We can't reflect these, can we? You can reflect those? 
Oh my god. I mean, when you have a swing this big, it's much easier to, uh, to aim that. Much easier to make it happen, Cap'n. No Megalol. I don't even know what I would want out of Omegalol right now. I'm really not sure what he would even provide to us that would be great. There's obviously the the meme we could get uh, we could get Sun Eater, but Sun Eater without at the very least Iron Branch, and at the best um, one of the crowns, or obviously Hyperstone. Without one of those, it's kind of just like a. Is it good? Kind of. Kind of. But definitely not always. We would hit for a very, very big number, but our swing would get small and our attack speed would, would plummet and our survivability would plummet as well. It's a totally passable, serviceable item. Should we get some curses? I'll take a curse. I'll take one more too. Give me one more. Okay. Wow. Wow, you just gave me all of them? Okay, our gold gain is going to plummet. But here's the thing. That's actually totally good. It's really, really beneficial to us, the fact that we got a three stack of a, a single curse. That's amazing. That means the second we get a curse removal that we can get rid of that, like, they're all three of those are gone at the same time is really nice is really really nice it's all about abusing the systems I here's the thing I don't think we're going to be getting enough curses to make that a big deal. Like, I, I don't think we're gonna get Omegalol. Basically, if I don't get Omegalol right now, we're not going to be getting Omegalol this run, I don't think. That's kind of where I'm at. I'm aware. I'm gonna go up to find the uh, the exit before I even use the shrine. Find the exit before I use the shrine. Otherwise, we could, um... Hmm... We could gain a blessing and then remove a curse. There's another way to do it. I'm totally gonna forget about that. Okay. Good deal. I'll take it, whatever. Ah, I messed it up. All right, I messed it up. Might as well go take the other blessing. We're probably at zero. I just wanted to mess up all of this. Holy moly, huge radius, lots of purple gems. Golden pilfers are amazing for situations like this. They're really like the number one way to get all this beauty. All this goodies, all this goodies. All the stuff that with the uh, meta progression and everything. Really important, really helpful. Uh, I will pop over here because, because there's a non-zero chance right now. There's literally, there was a non-zero chance. It was low. It was probably like five or 10% chance right there. So uh, that is amazing. That is actually amazing. What are we at? Four, three, four, five, three. What the hell? Ouch. <laughs> what do I do with all this? So yeah, there's no penalty to stacking here. There's no reason not to. There's no reason not to. I gotta do some math. Take the four, or take the five. Put it there, take the five. I don't know, man. Wait, oh, we could have bombed that. It's okay, it's okay. I'm not worried about it. The Chakram. <sighs> I literally just talked about it. I'm gonna take Chakram. It's free. It's literally free. We just got a free Chakram. Don't have to take the curse penalties at all. It's beautiful. All right. Yeah, let's see. We take the five, four, take the five, 
four. All right, we're at, we're at even. We're at even. God, I love it. Uh, it's good. We're really we are on, of course, a more swing focused run. If we could swing and have the shotgun at the same time, it'd be amazing. But you know what? We kind of got a like I said, we kind of got a jack of all trades run. Ah, we did indeed have a higher chance because I forgot we did the uh, we did the evil uh, cursy cursy pots. I don't know what the hell. What are they called? Urn? <laughs> there we go. The urns. Urns. We earned our way there. We earned our way there. Okay. Mm. I actually just want to see if we can find another uh, glaze. Okay. Boink and doink. Yes, I know we're getting rid of this to make it happen. Uh, switch. It's a you know, it's a maybe. It's kind of an interesting proposition, I guess. Bombs are easier to come by, so I think it's a better call there. I really need to remember that we have our popcorn kernels, also. Whoops. Whoops. Beautiful. I'll just leave it there. Just leave it there. We have all runs to get shotgun. You know, I mean, there's there's better ones. There's better ones. More throw focused ones. You know what? I know this is like a pretty minimal way of doing it. Wow. We completely skirted around the uh, the poverty there. Oh boy. Oh boy. Fun thing about this chakram though, look at that. Oh. But cheesed. Absolutely. But cheesed. Okay. Fine. I don't have any way to re roll it anyways. Uh, what boss are we? We're on Nori. 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 Oh my god. Nori, Nori, Nori. Chakram's fun to pick up gold with, too, which is kind of an extra little bit of a benefit. Doop. Doop. All right. Drop it, set it, and forget it. Set it, and forget it. Set it, and forget it. We don't have Salamander's Tail. Probably would be doing more damage with the swings, though. Yeah, it's hard to tell, actually. Chakram is such a... It's so good. Ah, it's so close. It's so good. Set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. Here. Situations like that, it might be better. It just... It does so many ticks so quickly. Get that lit up there. Whoop. Um, I've never seen that. I've never seen that happen before. That is actually kind of crazy. He just, nor just interrupted his own attack with another attack. I've never seen that happen before, and I've played this game for like 250 hours now, and I've never seen that. Oh boy, that ain't good. That's spooky. Okay, gotta be careful. Yeah, I was gonna say, probably smuggling smuggling a hand underneath there. Okay. Good deal. Okay. Boom, boom. I think we already got all the health from the shop. This We probably should have, um, you know, maybe moved over to... 
<laughs> I like a little bit more of a defensive play style for a little bit, but it is what it is. It is what it is. We'll, we'll be able to get our way back to full. We, we just wanted to, I wanted to re-roll a bunch of potions. What can I say? Is there anything wrong with that? Because then we get the Holy Glaze. Holy Glaze, just like that. I'll take the normal potion there. Honestly, just to fund my one little reroll, because why not? Okay. I know that's a lot of damage, but um, that's a really big change in the amount of gold we're going to be receiving over time here. Uh, we cannot take our Holy Glaze yet. It will not be helpful yet, right? I did, I did the math on it. We would not we would not increase everything to five yet. We got it at kind of an inopportune time. I I guess I'll take it. I don't I was kinda just thinking, I was like, is there literally is there any way we might be able to get you know, a way to re-roll that? This item has been made better just strictly due to the fact that bomb runs are better now. But, like, actually being able to do more damage. God, I can't. How much did it heal me? Okay. Also, it looks like it might have been made better because it's just better. That is a, a really hefty, hefty heal. What the heck? Okay. Lesson learned. It slaps. Lesson learned, it slaps. We got plenty. Wow. Okay. Okay. I mean, I would love to... I would love to do a run around that. I think that could be a lot of fun. Because, I mean, health is an interesting thing in Undermine. Because it's not, like... It's not useless when you're at full health to have methods to heal because there's so many ways to sacrifice health for other value. You know what I'm saying? There's so many other ways to get value out of HP that it's not a lost cause. It does, it's not irrelevant to, to have so many ways to heal yourself like that. Okay, so we have our shrine here. We can get two... One more. Okay, so we get four. So there's three. Take the five, put it to the three. Take the five, put it to the three. We do one more here. And then we drink. It splits it all up to five. Same thing. Set ourselves up for yet another. Yet another there. So if we find another Holy Glaze, then every blessing is up to six. Just like that. Isn't it, isn't it just wonderful, you know? Isn't it just wonderful? This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea because it's going to cost so many bombs. So many. Okay, baby chest. Okay. I guess we are out of here. Up and over. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. Kind of a, yeah, very, very much a jack of all trades run. Very, very much just a, uh, we could really pop enemies with whatever we feel like. Due to, like, and that's largely due to the fact that we picked up Chakram and we did indeed elect to get the throw damage up blessing as well. And kind of enter that into our rotation. Really the only thing that I'm kind of disappointed about with this entire run right now is just the fact that we did not get toughness earlier that could have been fun we could have been taking like we, we could have a huge chunk of hp and be taking literally no damage on top of that it just could be fun together you know we could literally just be a truck an absolute truck that's just not worth my time okay oh boy yeah <laughs> Uh, gotta swing so big. It's like uh, it's like the range for grabbing my tail in uh, in tail tag in Fall Guys. We can't even uh, we can't even throw our chakram in there and set it on there. Okay. 
Immediately, pop. <laughs> Immediately, when it pops, they pop. When it pops, you can't stop. Okay, we got the 20 keys. Oh, boy, so much. I, I think the canary would be fun today, but dang, man. But dang, man. Hmm. Honestly, I don't really feel like backtracking all the way down there. I'm gonna be real. It's not a special room, so I'm just not as interested in it. Remove a specific curse is a very good potion to just have in your back pocket. So let's go. Yeah. Eh, we don't need to just stick around. Don't need to just stick around. Oh, hold on. Boom, 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 boom. Okay. Pop on down. Fine. If, if it's literally away. Okay. See, here's the thing. That hardly, hardly seems worth it. Hardly seems worth it. On, oof, boy. On other mine, it's it's more worth it because the damage scaling of it does not scale with the um, the summoning stone like this does, you know? Because, you know, there are no summoning stones. There are no summoning stones in other mine. Whoop. But... So that, that makes it so it's kind of, it, it's immediately just less valuable. The higher you go in your summoning stones, this is just not, not worth it. I don't, oh my god. Uh, it's not worth it. It just ain't worth it. Because you have to sacrifice later on. It, I wouldn't even be surprised if spikes at a certain ascension level literally, literally one-shot you. Would not be surprised in the slightest. I'll tell you what, if I see Fortitude, I'll maybe take it. Uh, let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it. We'll take it. We might be able to enter it in the rotation. If we take the potion now, would we get it up to five? Maybe. Math. I'm not sure. I don't... I have not done the math yet. I don't know. We, we definitely would not get it up to six, but we might get it up to five. I think we would, even. Okay take the here let's do some math because we have some timers six put that up to two six put that up to three three no, four five so we need three more blessings across the board to turn it into six yep right i don't know man wait i gotta gotta do some math there three more ble blessings to turn it into six if we took it right now i think it would turn into five which would be a really, really big upgrade for that sp one specific one there. Uh, this is probably worth it, right? Yeah, I mean, because you take you take the average and then you work from there. Ooh, that's always fun with Chakram. Boyo, next. Do, 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 do. All right. Good deal. Sorry, I'm getting a lot of Discord pings now too. Every it's all over. Everybody wants me. What's going on? All right. Hello, 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 hello. <laughs> Swinging uh, as big as this side of the uh, the dang U.S. If we could get, I don't know. I I, I want to see like a ooh fan of knives, fan of knives could be really fun with Chakram. Uh, if we could get a really high crit chance, we could see some hilarious stuff going on. I really want to see a fan of knives. Um, send I send it back. I want to see a fan of knives. Uh, Canis Major run with Chakram. I know that that's like a lot of specifics, but it's, it's very possible that we get Canis Major today because it would be so quick to stack up to full. So quick to stack up to full crit with uh, with Chakram. And we'd just be releasing an unlimited amount of uh, fans of knives. I think that'd be actually hilarious. Hoop, 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 hoop. Oh my god. Oh no. Thank you. 
lovely, lovely Gordon's tunic for keeping me from getting insta bopped there. Uh, Chakram is really, really handy for uh, for Ponzu. And we do have our little increase in uh, in throw damage and potion form. I think we have a shop over here, too. Yeah, we do. We got Aura. You know what? Let's just hit me with it. Reroll potion. Okay. Hmm. Probably shouldn't have done that. Not yet. I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Egg pod, it's... I think it's too late for it to even be good. I genuinely... Genuinely think it's too late for it to even be good. I... I don't think that that's that good either. That one, I'll take it. And this, honestly, I'll drink this right now and bring it with me. We... Or not bring it with me. We'll just drink that one now. Oh, God. What I what I do with that one now, too? Uh, set it and forget it. It's so, it's so small. This is one of the weird few times where I kind of like having swing, uh, swing size up. Yeah. We're kind of a jack of all trades, like I said, but I really do think we are genuinely kind of a master of none. Oop. Oh my god, how are we taking that much damage? How are we taking that much damage? Okay, you know what? We gotta bring out the big guns. We're taking so much damage right now. I mean, I guess we only have one fortitude. Okay. I love that we're sending back all of the ads, uh little uh, ooh, little tiny projectiles it's quite nice okay good good kind of want to drop down some bombs even that we could maybe use to then heal ourselves via the uh, via the ads right now I'm not changing anything I'm not changing anything right now this is too good that was a dream ah Okay, okay, okay. Good, 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 good. All right. Good deal. Next. The question is... Nope, never mind. There's no question anymore. I was going to say, what do we do as far as this potion goes? There's no question now. We have an empty spot for it. Had to bring out the uh, the swing swing guns. I'm actually shocked at how little damage we did to Ponzu, though. Like I'm I'm genuinely kind of worried about the seer fight. I I thought we were kind of popping off in blessings, but we're we're getting scaled out pretty hard here, I guess. Like our quality of life is pretty decent, but I guess. I guess not specializing. People always tell me, you can, you don't always have to specialize your runs in Undermine. You don't have to specialize your runs. I think that this one is kind of, uh, kind of proving that it's a pretty good idea to specialize because, like, when I was going in on Ponzu there, Chakram and my throw damage, it was doing literally, it was doing nothing for us, you know? And when I was doing the Chakram, the swing damage and all of the uh, everything I've gotten with that is doing nothing for us. So in bosses, when you really can only... A lot of times you can only use one method of attack, save for maybe, like, maybe going for bombs in some situations, you know, like Celt or, uh, or Seer or, you know, even... Uh, what the heck? Uh, Mortar. I don't forget, what, I forget Mortar's name. Been in the game the whole dang time, man. Uh, I think that, yeah, it's, um, you kind of want to specialize. Unless you, I think you can pepper in a little bit of bomb action. Okay, Canis Major is going to be a very interesting meme. If we could get, the only thing I think that we could pop off even further now would be, like, Phantasmal Axe. Eh, eh. Okay. Okay. 
six to it brings it to three three five 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 three we're almost at max rank sylph so i think we actually just hold on to this for now I th oh yeah okay well I'm, I'm very very happy we held on to it now but I think like if we went for swing size and swing speed to kind of like reflect things easily and then gone for a throw build I think that could have been an interesting avenue today for success okay that should hit us that did not hit rank three. Oh no I was really banking on that hitting hitting uh, rank three okay so seven two three four five we need one more blessing and then we are going to uh raise everything up to six including fortitude which uh, a rank six fortitude in the seer fight should make a very very big difference like i said it's a rare blessing they don't expect you to have like that many of them for the most part i feel like they are a, de a decent about a bit more strong so literally just any we have a handful of floors here now too it's shouldn't be hard oh god why did i do it shouldn't be hard to get one blessing all right sure a little bit of hp back every room literally no reason to be disappointed in that Hold on. Oops. Okay. Good deal. Uh, yeah. I don't know. The swing run section is feeling kind of mediocre now, but I think that... As soon as we get the Canis Major going like crazy, I think that'll help a lot. The chain reaction of it all would be really, really handy. Though, trying to think about how good it would be in, like, the Seer fight. I don't know how... I don't know how beneficial it'll be. Oh, God. This ain't great. Oh. See, yeah, that... The chain reaction is really, really nice. But I think it's it may be too late in the run here. It may be too late in the run to uh, to switch what we're kind of specializing in. Nah, it's, I think it's pretty good. Oh my god. The AoE of, of it, at the very least, is very, very, very strong. Okay. Okay. If we could get another Holy Glaze, too, I think we could have a lot of fun here. All right. You know what? Step one, shop in a bottle. Step two, reroll all the potions. Oh, step three, reroll all the potions again. Step four, bomb to reroll all the potions again. I mean, Freeloader's Draft's not bad. It is far too late for that. Far too late for that. All right, fine. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Ooh. All right. Twelve years later. I just didn't really feel like getting golden popcorn. It's, it's too late in the run. It's not going to help us anymore. Ooh, the throw damage, though. Ooh, the throw damage, though. Honestly, I don't think we're going to need a specific curse removal. It's a really good potion, and it feels kind of like a, a really big bummer to just leave it behind like that, but I don't think it's going to matter. I genuinely don't. Okay. Next. Next. All right, got another item room here. <laughs> Something about getting all this stuff literally at the end of the run. There's so many, uh, so many things that are 
very, very strong to see early and very, very weak to see late that we're finding. We don't have a lot of time to get our blessings. I think that it's just going to be... Like, I want to say it's a no-brainer we'll get it, but uh, as soon as I do that... I see that up there. I'm just going to pass it, though. As soon as I say it's a no-brainer we're going to get them, we're going to have a, a tough time. Oh, Yep, this is a this is a throw run. This is a, this is a throw run. We could have get could have got uh, Gauntis, Gauntis, or something like that. It'd be handy. Hit. But you know, tis with tis. Or if I get if I could get Muna Mune Mune. If I could get Mune, but I don't think I have it unlocked on this file yet. You have to do a you have to do a special thing with Masa to get Mune. I will actually happily take that. Okay. Reroll. Just don't care enough about those items in specific. Uh um. No, I guess not. There we go. There we go. That's a big deal. That's a very big get. That is a very big pickup right there. Even in... S nah, nah, well, I was going to say, even in single target, but that's just an absolute lie. Okay. Fine. What am I going to do? Okay. we got to be careful, though. we got Golden Core 3. Yeah, you can see how this could get out of control. We did obviously reset our Canis Major. Uh, reset, so that's kind of a bummer. But, you know, I think it's okay. I think it was worth it. It was worth it. Ooh, ooh. What is our... Oh, we still have Aura, too. Oh. We pretty much... Like, when you pick up Aura, it basically is saying, you just don't really get curses anymore. Unless you want to... Unless you want to take or to blow up a major curse thing you just don't really get curses anymore kind of nice womp womp well there's that I mean I guess I'll go for this we're sitting at 8 now just like that if we don't get any more blessings you know at least we are rank 3 with our dang or if we don't get any more holy glaze at least we have our self you know We'll always have ourselves to give us a little bit of strength in kind of backwards ways there. Oh my goodness. Yeah, could you see why I wanted this to happen? Could you see why I kind of, I thought this might be a fun collection of items to have? It just makes, it really just makes everything sound like a slot machine going off. We... Yep. 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 And having the uh, the extra size on the throw for the boss fight is going to be really nice since we won't have to aim quite as precisely or at the very least pull it back quite as often. Uh, yeah, this is a very much a good idea because there's no reason not to. We, we don't have to worry about Omega Lol chance. There's literally no reason to care uh, because it just doesn't... We can't get it again. Oh my god. Cool. Um, I'll take this all with me. I'll take that all with me. I did not expect to get another Holy Glaze. It's, you could argue it's maybe a downside though. Oh my God, you see that how little damage we took compared to normal? That's the, uh, that's the seven levels of toughness right there. Seven whole levels of toughness. That's what that is. Okay, pop it. I gotta be careful. Really, one of the biggest things I want to make sure we uh, we do is pay attention to our Canis Major and make sure we bring that to the boss with his, you know, a little bit of a stack already. If we can, and we can, as long as there's enemies down here, and I don't know if there's going to be enemies down here, I think we might have already bungled it. There are not enemies down here. That's okay. 
That's okay. We got the extra, extra HP, extra money. And by that, I guess I just mean the extra money, because we already have the HP. Shrine? Item. Alright. We're all good. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Extra HP for the heck of it. Why not? Do we have Aura? We do have Aura. There's no reason not to do this. There could be a blessing in there. Oh, better yet, there's a, a recipe for Cure-All, which, if I remember correctly, is a very terrible potion. Just like, I'm really realizing how many just actually very bad potions there are. That's a much better sized chakram. Okay, here we go. We got our bombs that we can throw out to uh, get rid of the um, the mist. Okay, starting to stack. There, this is what it's about. This is what it's all about. There we go. Start getting them crits. Once we start critting like crazy, we're gonna never stop critting. There we go. That damage, though. Can we talk about that? That's some... Oh, my God. We're taking a lot considering uh, the summoning stone level. Right? Like, we're only at six. And he's already this nasty. Okay, remove that. Drop it on his face. Big disgrace. Just, we just want him to stop again. The good news is we should probably be able to just have our potions on the whole fight. We're, we're still only at three. One, two, three. That surprises me. Okay. Stack it up. Stack it up. Our, is the fight seriously going to go on so long that we lose our uh, our potions? I would find that hard to believe. Okay, that should help. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay. We're never going to lose our Canis Major at the very least. It's quite nice. But dang, man, this is a uh, it's a hefty fight. It's taking 12 whole years. It's five. One, two, three, four, five. Finally. Oh my god. Oh, Pygod. Thank you. Your strength, your perseverance, the only way I made it through. Literally just, the, the risk was not dying from his attacks. The risk was dying from boredom. We did it. It was like a two, what, two, two and a half minute fight at Summoning Stone 6. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty long for that that summoning stone level. But that's going to do it for today. I greatly appreciate any and all support you wish to leave on this series up to this point very very much if you want to hit the like button it helps a hell of a lot it takes half a second does a really big thing in the sense that it helps with the algorithm helps me do this as my job a little bit easier so thank you thank you and i'll see you next time bye